love and support you showed me um, last week for first episode of She. And now we are filming number two and I cannot wait for you to be a part of this one. You are going to hear from a wonderful lady in our community, Dana Boutwell, talking about cookies for kids for cancer awareness in September. You are going to see some of my favorite things, uh, short devotional. Make sure to stick around to the end to hear about Paint Your Love, which is an organization by Logan Howe. And right now he is collecting um, donations for the hurricane, Harvey down in Texas. And um, stick around to hear more about that. So, I have a little confession to make <laughs> to everyone. Um, this is pretty funny since last week I spoke about taking a time out to give yourself some time to relax. Um, so, this happened on the same day that we filmed last week. Dun dun dun! We were driving in the car to go to my son's football game and we ran out of gas. Yes, we ran out of gas. We were in the car, my family, and we ran out of gas. Um, I guess I really didn't take time out to put gas in my car. I was so busy running around and taking care of other things that I forgot to fill up my car. And so we ran out of gas, stranded right here off Dobie's Bridge. Um, I'm kind of ashamed, but that really happened. That's real life. Thankful for our brother-in-law and my mother-in-law who came to the rescue. So that's kind of what I want to talk about right now is what happens in our lives when, we, when we're empty, when we're feeling empty, when we get to that zero, to that red light. What happens when we forget to fill up our spiritual tank? I know for me, when I'm running on dead on empty, I may feel ill. Um, I may have zero patience with my family, with my kids, and sometimes, sadly to admit, my husband. Um, I start seeing these things that I keep speaking, this negativity starts coming out of my mouth. Um, I may even have bad thoughts come across my mind. So can you relate? Can you relate to that? Can you relate to being in a bad mood every now and then? So I want to give us a few pointers on how you can fill your tank up and not get to that point, not get to that point where you're feeling ill and zero, have zero patience. I'm going to tell you some things that you can do to keep your tank full. Um, one of the things that our church does and I'm so thankful for is they give us a devotional. Every three months they give us a devotional to for everyone kind of keeps us on the same page, um, very encouraging. I love it, me and my family, we read it all the time. I absolutely love our devotional. Another thing you can do is read your Bible. Read your Bible, is, reading your Bible is so important. Like, if you're not filling yourself up with the Word of God, how are you gonna know? Another thing is meditate on scripture. Meditate on that scripture that speaks to your heart, that's speaking to you at the moment. Um, a big one for me is in my car, I listen to a lot of praise and worship music. Being on the choir, um, we have all these new songs that, we're, that are coming up that we're singing. I listen to, I love praise and worship. Pretty much what you put in, guys, is what comes out. Are we perfect? No. If you make it a habit, if you make it a daily thing, you will never go empty. Proverbs 21, 23. It says, the one who guards his mouth and tongue keeps himself out of trouble. I want to keep myself out of trouble, don't you? Um, the more time you spend in his presence, in God's presence, God will begin to speak to you. He will begin to tell you, this is what I want you to change. This is what you need more of. Let the Holy Spirit talk to you and give you some direction. What you may need more of may be kindness, patience, love, peace, faith, gentleness, self-control. All these are fruits of the Spirit, can be found in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. 
Fill yourself up with God's encouragement and don't let yourself get to empty. And definitely don't let your car run out of gas. Good morning and welcome to Now You Know. Today we have with us Dana Batwell. Hi, thank you for having me, Christina. I'm so excited you're here. Um, we are going to be talking about childhood cancer awareness. Dana is very involved with that and she will be sharing with us um, what's something that's very dear to her heart. I met Dana um, several years ago in kindergarten registration. We have we both have um, boys who are in the same grade, now they're in second grade. And she was just so pretty and I, we just got to know each other there. It seems like yesterday, I'm surprised it wasn't a hot mess because my baby was no. starting kindergarten. And I think we both were a little, little mess. Yes, we were a little, a little emotional. anxious and emotional. That's my baby too. I know, I so, know. But he, um, that's how I met her and I also, our kids are very good friends, and yes. we've been to each other's birthday parties, mm -hmm. and she also... Sports. They sports. play together on the sporting mm -hmm. team, so... And she's also helped me through the strawberry pageant. She gave me lots of great right. advice and encouragement. You did awesome. And I totally <laughs> think she's a beautiful person inside and out. Oh, thank you. So... You make me cry before we get started. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to make you cry. I might cry because this is very... It is emotional. emotional. It is emotional. So, one of the things that um, I want our viewers to know is how did you get involved with Cookies for Kids? Well, back in 2012, my good friend Melanie's little boy was diagnosed with leukemia at age two. And, you know, just being a part of their journey, I became really educated about childhood cancer. I did not know that it was the number one disease killer of children in the United States. I did not know how underfunded that it was. Um, for the National Cancer Institute's billion dollar budget, less than 4% goes to our children. And what that means is for every dollar spent on cancer, only three pennies of that is dedicated to our children. So there's very few new treatment options. We're using drugs from 20 years ago to treat our children. And if you think of all of the improvements that we made for our kids over the years, like seatbelt safety, mm -hmm. you know, all, all the things we've improved on, you would think our children's lives, you know, would, would matter more and that we would have a greater uh, money, you know, dedicated mm -hmm. to our children battling cancer. Right. So how can our community get involved in helping I'm so, cookies for kids. so glad you asked. <laughs> this September is our fifth annual Paint the Town Gold fundraiser. Um, the gold bows are placed on mailboxes around trees on local businesses. They are $10 and $7 from each bow goes to Cookies for Kids Cancer. I love that. I love it. Um, Freda with Buy the Bunch Florist in Fort Mill has just been so incredibly um, generous and wonderful to make these bows for us each year. So if you'd like to get a bow, call Freda at Buy the Bunch. Mm -hmm. And um, also if you just would like to make a donation on our um, Facebook page, which is Cookies for Kids Cancer Fort Mill, um, we have a fundraising link. So when you go on, you can make a um, donation directly to Cookies. And um, it, check out the the website for Cookies for Kids Cancer. It's cookiesforkidscancer.org. And uh, learn all the great things that they're doing. I'm, I'm very proud to say that they have funded 80 research grants, which has led to 32 new clinical trials. And this is huge because mm -hmm. These are treatment options that our children would otherwise not have. And you know, as a mother, and me having four boys myself, uh, you know, cancer has no boundaries, and it doesn't discriminate. Right. And um, it terrifies me, as a mom, that there's so little uh, funding, you know, going to cancer research for kids. And um, this is very important to me. I think God has, has placed this organization in my life for a reason. And um, it's been an honor to represent uh, the organization and to be a part of raising awareness and funding. Well, you certainly do a wonderful job. Thank you. And um, every time I go down Main Street and I see those gold bows yes. hanging on the light post, you know, it's, I'm like, man. 
And that's, that's just amazing. part of the incredible community that we live in because the mm -hmm. town of Fort Mill and Tiga K have supported uh, my fundraiser for the past five years. And to drive through, not only for me, but for our local families who right. battled, um, I've had the pleasure of working with 12 families, and there's a lot more that I haven't met. Mm -hmm. But uh, the goal boats mean so much to them. Yeah, so, that's amazing. Yeah. I love that. So how do you balance being a mom... <laughs> Because Dana has four boys. How do you balance being a mother to those four boys and a wife and volunteering and getting you? I feel like you do so many things. You're so all over the place. I'm crazy. All the time. I'm crazy. <laughs> um, you know, for me, first, my, my family comes first. My husband and my four children are my first priority. And, you know, we're really a team together. Like, we support Cookies for Kids Cancer as a family. And if there's opportunities that um, I am able to go to events and speak or um, to uh, volunteer with, and I don't have my children with me, my husband, my Superman, <laughs> is at home taking care of my boys. And if there's an opportunity to, you know, bake for a bake sale, the boys are in the kitchen helping me. I love and that. They help you. Yeah. They're, they want to be involved. They want to be involved. Yes. They want to help make a difference. Yeah. And if we have local events, uh, they volunteered their time. We just think that it's so important to teach our boys about the importance of service and giving Absolutely. back to your community. And just, uh, you know, being a passionate about a cause and... and um, just doing something and I think the greatest way to teach our children that is to lead by example that's right and for them to be able to um, see us you know a part of it uh, you're instilling just, you're instilling in them qualities that later on in life are just they're gonna be so. great men I hope so I pray so that yeah. is definitely my prayer yes well, Dana, thank you so much for coming today and sharing about something that is so passionate to your heart. I'm so thankful you set some time apart and you came and shared with us and talked about our community and um, things that people can do to help, to get involved. I'm so excited. Please be looking for that link. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm so excited about uh, this September and continuing to raise awareness and funding for our children. And I'm so proud of you. I've enjoyed this so much. Thank you for what you're doing. And uh, I'm just honored to call you my friend. Thank you. Thank you. to share some of my favorite things. First, we're going to talk about this corksicle. Um, these are hot everywhere. Everywhere I go, I see one. So we were down at the beach a couple weeks ago and I bought one. Loved it. Used it out at the beach. The drink stayed cold. It was awesome. They are triple insulated. They have a rubber bottom so they don't fall and slip easily. Triple insulated um, keeps your drink very cold or your coffee very hot. They also have these really cool like grips here on the sides where you can really hang on to them whereas the round ones I feel like you're kind of like struggling but um, of course I got a pink one because it's my favorite color. Throughout the segment today this necklace um, I love it. I got it from one of my favorite jewelry places Faded Crown. They are in Rock Hill and also I wanted to show you these earrings I picked up yesterday. I mean guys really how awesome are they? Also, um, as you can see in the pictures, it is full of wonderful little things that you can just browse around. I mean, you really just wanna take home everything that's inside. But also this Saturday, Faded Crown is having a huge sale. All of the summer jewelry is going to be 40% off. Um, of course, that, that'll be on select. And all of these summer accessories will be anywhere between 20 to 40% off. And if you look down below at the address, that's where Faded Crown is located. She will be open from 10 to 5. And please go and take a look and visit. You will not be disappointed. Her stuff is just beautiful. A lot of timeless pieces. Um, I have a lot of earrings and necklaces and bracelets from there. And I love them. Okay, now on to the third item. This is one of my favorite things right now. As you can see, you saw it the entire time as I was interviewing and doing my devotion time. 
If you look closely, it says Fort Mill, South Carolina, and it has a longitude and latitude of where we're located. I love it because it's so personable. Um, it smells so good. It's a candle. If you'd love to pick up a candle that has Fort Mill, South Carolina on it, then make sure you visit the crossings. Logan here with me and he's going to explain to us what Paint Your Love is all about. Um, Paint Your Love is basically an organization that I started and the mission is to outreach to the community, outreach to the world and paint your love all over the world and all over people's hearts and uh, just make them feel loved. And what are you doing right now for Texas? Um, right now I'm selling these shirts to uh, donate money to Texas so they get through this horrible devastation that they're going through to rebuild and be strong again. 30% um, of each purchase goes to Texas. I love that. So if you buy a t-shirt, 30% of the t-shirt price, which is how much? $20. $20 will go to um, the hurricane victims down in Texas. And Logan's going to share his email address below, and you guys just contact him about it, and you guys can get involved and help. All right. Thank you. Fill yourself up with God's word, and I don't know how I'm going to end it. Um, fill yourself up with God's encouragement and his loving words, and... <laughs> Let's see. Um, fill yourself up with God's encouragement and do not go on empty. Make sure you visit the crossings. Um, they have a section for babies. They have tons of things. I'm probably just rambling right now. And today we will have with us... So one of the first things... Um, I need to do is introduce you. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great idea. <laughs> it's over the years, like, <clears throat> excuse me, um, see. Did we miss anything? 